Hi, today I'm going to walk you through the phases of Venus and how you can demonstrate them in your home with just some simple equipment. Uh, this is part of Lab 2, and this is the trickiest part. Um, everything else I think should be obvious just from the instructions, but I'll run you through how you can actually illustrate for yourself the phases of Venus using the lab equipment. So I've prepared on just some scratch paper a copy of the solar system diagram that you can find on the last page of your lab. And I also have two pieces of equipment. A tennis ball that I borrowed from my dog and a flashlight. I'm using a flashlight but you can also use the light source on your phone. Most modern smartphones have a flashlight app of some kind that you can use that will allow you to create a light source for use in this lab. This is the part of the lab where if you want you might find that you could use some help from a friend or family member just so your arms don't get too tangled up. But I'm going to try and do this just by myself. Let's see how it goes. So. Okay. So I'm going to turn on my flashlight and this is going to be my light source. And I'll place that at the location of the sun. And then I will be looking towards my demonstration from the direction of the earth. And what I'll do is I'll take my light source and I'll point it towards my tennis ball. And then I'll move the tennis ball to the different marked locations on your diagram that you see in the lab itself. And I'll see the way the tennis ball looks to me from the earth appear different. So as I move the tennis ball around. I'm going to constantly keep the light source coming from the direction of the sun pointing towards the tennis ball. And as I move it around to these different locations, you can see how your hands might easily get tangled up. I'll see the tennis ball, which stands in for Venus, have slightly different phases over the course of its orbit. So for example, I'm going to try not to shine the light too strongly into my camera. When the sun is between you and Venus, you might see Venus look completely full. But over here, okay, there we go. Now you're seeing a different phase because Venus is getting covered by light differently than it was in the previous location. And you'll be going over and trying to figure out where each one of those five numbered phases occurs in Venus's orbit, and then you'll record the number one through five at the appropriate location. Thanks for watching.